We use their chair for a lot more than just getting our hair done. One longtime stylist has released a new book. I spoke to Tracy Hare about her book and also about the Peach Cobbler Factory where her book signing will take place. I am joined by Tracy Hare, a longtime hairstylist in this community. Tracy, thank you so much for joining me today. Thank you for having me on, Tracy. We're talking about two things here. You are having a book signing. You've written a new book. You're excited about that. You're having a book signing and you're having this book signing at your daughter's new restaurant. And uh, we want to talk about both of those things here. So first of all, let's talk about your book. And oh. it's stories of, you know, you are a stylist. And we often say our stylists are like our therapists in so many cases. Yeah. So tell us about this book and, and what we'll find in there, some of the stories we'll hear about. Well, the book is called At Your Service, A View from Behind, a Chair of a Hairstylist. And it's like just my journey um, of how I've learned over the years of service, something that I think that we are, we're forgetting and we're not passing it on. And we say closed mouths don't get fed. So if we don't tell the story of where we come from, how are we gonna move forward in this industry or in any industry, you know, as far as service. So it's just kind of like going back to where it was when I first started to where we are now and just wanna tell the story and, and help stylists or anybody. It could apply to anybody's life. So that's what it's basically about. And then, you know, it gives a, uh, every chapter has a lesson learned. So that's kind of what it's about. And then I tell, so, you know, hairstyles have been around forever. And it always says that we're the ones that's closest to the person um, whose hair that we're doing, like you said before, like being a psychologist. So they tell you all kinds of stories. And, you know, over the years, I've, I've heard many. Um, I've prayed for many. And I'm quite sure many have prayed for me. But it has. It's been a journey that I've loved and just want to pass on traits that I think that we should continue doing as far as service. Well, I, I love that you say that because I think that is so big. I mean, as busy as we are and as sometimes we want to get in and out, but I will tell you, it really means a lot when Silas actually take time what is it that you want? What is it that you're not happy with? If you're having a hair issue or concern, how can we work through this problem? And a lot of times, sometimes stylists have gotten away from where they would do that. You're like, but wait a minute, you know, I'm, I'm having a hair problem here and you just want to keep doing the same thing. I need to strengthen my hair or I need to, you know, get my hair healthy again. How, how can we do that? And just to kind of to take time to see what it is you need. So yeah, that yeah. is so important. And I, I love that you say that about service. And one of the other things now, as you're talking about, you're going to have a book signing for your new book and you're doing this. This book signing is taking place at your daughter, who I know, Lundy, yeah. her new place, which I am so ashamed and embarrassed to say, I think I'm the last person who has not been down to the Peach Cobbler factory and I love Peach Cobbler, so I'm going. But you're having Peach a book Cobbler signing Cobbler. there. And so tell us about this new venture, this new restaurant, which is getting rave reviews, the Peach Cobbler factory and what people can expect when they walk in there. Well, well, they have quite a few different types of cobblers. Um, I, I'm not for sure exactly how many, but I would say that there's at least seven. They have banana pudding there, and they have what's called a cinnamon roll, and they put the peach cobbler on the cinnamon roll and serve it with ice cream. And the, the line is all the way around the block. They have really, they have been only open um, about a month or so, so far. And I mean, the business is just picking up. It's the sweet shop is going to be what's the go-to around here. <laughs> People are that's, I was going to say, what do you think it is? Of course, it's new, but what do you think it is that's drawing so many people to this new restaurant and this new sweet spot in town? Yes, the sweet. It's something different. It's something that's not here in Chattanooga. Um, when you think of, you know, peach cob, where that's something that is a go-to for everybody. And then, um, you know, great advertisement for it. Uh, Lobby has really gone out. And then, you know, we're their mouth is the best form of advertisement itself. So they are having a lot of repeat business. 
They have people coming in from Alabama, Georgia that have heard about it. And so, and again, it goes back to service, the service that you get when you go in there. So it's a, it's a great establishment. She's hiring uh, people, the students from the college campus because it's right down there in the mix of it. And, and they seem to be interested. They, they want to come to work. So it's a good environment. Um, and I, they seem to be doing really well so far. So I just thought, hey, you're just getting started. I didn't think it was going to be we planned this. I had no idea that she was going to be as busy as she is. So I planned it on a Sunday, hoping that maybe it won't be as busy. But I think a lot of people come in after church. So now, she's I was going to say, now that, that's the time that you know that that's the time that we have dessert after our Sunday meals. My yeah. aunt used to always make like those peach cobblers on Sunday. And after church, I'd know that I was going to her house to get yeah. some of that. So again, that, that, this is so wonderful because we see more women you know, you've been in business as a female entrepreneur for a long time. And now you see your daughter is also a, an accomplished stylist in her own right, as well as now a business owner here. So when you just look at like the growth that you're seeing from women and from women of color, what does this say to you? Oh, I am so humble in my heart because my thing all this time has been in mentoring women and trying to pull us up, you know, to let us know that we are lo love yourself and you can be anything that you want to be. You don't have to put a limit on, you know, limitations on what you do in life. So it it's just a great feeling to see that we are pulling up. We are becoming more um, independent and owning ourselves, taking, you know, just owning who you are and feeling good about yourself. So, in this all these years, just to be able to take that away from what I've done, the mentoring, ministering, mothering, 